Hey guys, thanks for joining me for this tutorial. Uh, today I'd like to show you how to not only load a module within a content article, but how to load a module within another module using the extension for Joomla Modules Anywhere. Now, one of the scenarios that you might find yourself needing this capability is, for example, if you have a module that has certain contact information such as phone number, address, uh, and that kind of thing. But if you've ever noticed yourself creating numerous modules to display on various locations of pages to do this, you may find it a nightmare later when the customer tells you that uh, you got the phone number wrong. You may find yourself having to update you know, upwards of three to five different modules just to do this. Well, what I'm going to show you is by using this End Modules Anywhere plugin, you can actually create one master content module and load that module within another module or a content area in a page. What this means is if you have to make any edits in the future, you just make edits to your master module and you're done. So let's begin. First off, what we want to do is go ahead and download and install the Modules Anywhere extension. Now once you've installed that module for Joomla, your appropriate version of Joomla, what you'll want to do is navigate to the plugin section of your uh, Joomla website. And you want to first look for the content plugin entitled Load Module and make sure you disable this because all load, mo load position commands are going to be now handled by the Modules Anywhere plugin which we just installed. Let's go down to System and find our Modules Anywhere system plugin. You want to make sure that this module is enabled and of all the settings that concern you at the mo this moment is this one here, Handle Load Position Tags. What this will do is it will disable uh, the load module plugin that's part of the core Joomla uh, installation and now use the modules anywhere plugin to manage those as well. So once we select the yes we want to go ahead and hit save. And now our plugins are ready to handle uh, this scenario. The next step we want to do is go ahead and create the module that we would like to display in various positions. In this case it's just a simple contact information module where you might find yourself having to make updates later. Then using the same technique as with all load position um, scenarios, we want to publish it to and assign it to all menus. We want to type in a custom and unique position. In this case I entitled it master underscore contact and I gave it a similar title and set to show the title as no and enabled it and then I went ahead and click save and apply. Now that our master module is done we can go to uh, and open up a new module in this case a custom HTML module and title it our contact info go through the normal steps of placing it on the pages we would like and in the position we would like it in and then in the content area we would like to use the load position command and then load the position of our master contact module master underscore contact in this case from here we want to click save what this has done is loaded our master contact module with the original information within another module in this case a custom HTML one then we want to use the load position command to load the same master contact module within a Joomla article just for the fun of it and we go ahead and hit save. Navigate to the front end and I've already refreshed and went through this process earlier but you'll notice now you have a contact module here and the contact module there. But since they're both pulling from the same master module when we wish to edit the contact information we go to the mo master contact module. We can change the 